Right, okay, there we go. I think we've got the correct microphone back in. It should be working. Um, yeah, sorry about that. When it lost, when it, when it restarted, it lost every setting that I'd put into the damn thing. So, for some reason, it wasn't defaulting to the right microphone, which is fun. And now it is defaulted to the right one. Hopefully, I'm not deafening everybody. And there we go. Maybe not quite that much. <laughs> yeah. I've got to be a little bit careful because for some reason this microphone does go a little bit dodgy. Um, I say this microphone, it's not the microphone's fault, it's the way that the laptop deals with it that uh, can be a little bit funky. Right, I apologise for the horrendous, uh, horrendous technical difficulties that are going on. But uh, there we go. It wouldn't be a fail race stream without everything breaking. Normally it's the cars that I'm driving that are, um, that are breaking. However... <laughs> Today it's the technology. Uh, you know what? Oh, we, we've loaded up, but I think, you know, let's just go to sleep. Screw it. Oh, we've got to go on an adventure tomorrow. So, um, there we go. Oh, we've got to press F to sleep. And then we kind of dive face face. It's a weird way of getting into bed, I will be honest. Um, <laughs> just sort of face plant and smash your way in. And uh, there we go. Um, we're going to, yes, yeah, it's, it's not quite as daytime as I'd hoped it would be. Bugger. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go and do the dangerous drive off to the shops in, uh, at, 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 well, dawn. Okay. Take a, uh, take a guess at how long I survive in this journey. It's probably not going to, um, not going to last particularly long, but, uh, there we go. I did turn the stream down a, uh, a, a little bit to a, a lower bandwidth just to try and see if my laptop could calm itself down for a little while. Um, it's a pretty damn powerful laptop, so it shouldn't be having too many issues with doing this. I think it's just the internet itself is having a wobbly moment at, the, at this time. Uh, right, I oh, should turn it on for a little while before to get it warmed up slightly. Yeah, it shouldn't, it shouldn't crash again. Uh, people, so far, we have one bit of crashing at the end of the road. Someone's uh, ten minutes, four minutes, three and a half minutes, one second. If I can die in one second, that would be a hell of an achievement. Like, has somebody put a bomb in the back of my car that have not been told about? Do you know something that I do not? Um, or have you disconnected the brakes, for those of you that are um, thinking I'll crash at the end of the road? It's much more likely that I'm going to roll. Like, much, much more likely that I'm going to roll it in a ditch somewhere. Uh, can we get you turned on now? Hey, there we go. Can I remember how to drive all of this? Lights are on. Handbrake is off. Hey, we are away. Now, admittedly, if I get there, the shop probably won't quite be open yet, but it will hopefully be open at some point relatively soon. And if it isn't open, we will go into the, um, what's it called? Oh, bloody hell. I've not driven on a, this game on a keyboard for a while. I didn't uh, set it up for my controller. Uh, the Echo is a little bit different, li little bit different to uh, to driving with a controller. Admittedly, the controller is still a little bit on the wonky side most of the time. What is that light? What is that? Is that someone on a bike? Are there more people now? Are there more cars around the place? Where did it go? What the hell is going on? Who is haunting my quiet little version of Finland? What was that? Um, anybody know what that was? Have we found um, Have we found like a ghost? Have we found a ghost in the uh, my, in the uh, my summer car game? That's not that, that's slightly disconcerting, but never mind. Uh, could it be like a train at a really uh, really great distance? I'm. Uh, also, apologise, chat. You might be answering me and telling me what that was, but I can't look because I've got to drive and use all of my concentration on the whole driving part. Uh, because otherwise, we will roll and we probably will die. Uh, if we get to the shop, which we probably will do relatively early uh, before it opens, then we'll either go get drunk or I'll pay attention to the chat. I haven't decided yet which one. We don't have a huge amount of money. Um, I also didn't bring any f food. I got the one food packet that we have, so I'm hoping that I don't need it. Uh, shall we wait to see if the train's coming, or shall we just guesswork it? I think that was a lot closer than I was expecting. <laughs> <It> was <laughs> that was a little bit closer. I, I definitely heard the train horn go off. That was, um, that was not fun. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. There, there, there wasn't a, um, there wasn't a big wreck. 
So we've made it past the train, and we've made it past the first quarter. Whoever whoever bets at the first quarter or the end of the road, sorry, uh, we have we have got further than that because I'm driving a bit like a granny at the moment because I don't want to die on these terrible I say terrible finished roads. I'm just not experienced at driving them quickly anymore, and I know exactly what can happen with a van around here. Uh, oh god. Oh, okay, well we're going this way now. Probably not a good idea to try and take that shortcut. I think we locked everything up and just went straight on. Let's get down, let's get down. Oh, careful now. Things are a little bit twitchy. There are the various barn find cars around that you can go and get some money with. Uh, or, or get some money for. I don't know if there's been anything else added in, uh, in that one. Or with the, the latest updates. I think the train and the bike are the only real new things. Um... For now, and apparently the ghost vehicles, whatever they may be. Uh, right, so, you know, we're just going to go again. No train that time around, so either it's far ahead of us. I don't quite know where the train... I mean, I know it loops around the, um, around the island, around the map, but I don't actually quite know where it goes. I've not really paid a huge amount of attention uh, to it. It's not fall in the water, because that would be a really um, awkward way to have to try and uh, get out of somewhere. Ah... Uh. Well, how is it? Uh, how is it going, everybody? I hope your I hope your evening is going less stressful than mine currently is of trying to drive, not slowly in a van down a road, knowing full well that everybody is currently expecting me to roll and die at, at any moment down this road. Uh, things can go very, very badly wrong. We do need some food. We might have to stop off at the pub. I don't know what time the pub closes. Probably, this is probably going to time this completely and utterly wonkily. Uh, there's another, is that a ghost car or is that actually a car car? Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Bouncy, bouncy, bad. Oh, we recovered. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We're going down here. It's fine. We're not dead. <laughs> I was busy looking at the uh, interesting ghost car. Oh, climb. Hey, look at that. Who knew? Who knew the van was there? That was a really serious... Um, incline that we had to fight with there but we've made it we're in one piece i don't know what the weird ghost car is that's haunting me i would really rather it wasn't um it is over there what is it oh crap road don't go go looking for ghost cars word of advice people if uh, if you're driving don't, hold on let's go investigate hold on he's actually there you want to pay attention to the road however if you've already fallen off the road you can then go and investigate ghost cars Is it a boat? Is it a ghost boat? I don't. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure what's um, what's going on. There it is. What is that? There's two of them. What the hell is happening over there? I'm not sure I want to go to the city anymore. To the town. I've changed my mind. Uh, that one there is staying. One of the ghost mobiles is buggered off. Um, that one, whatever that is, is stationary. It might just be the light on a... Oh, no. Ah! No, that is definitely moving. Um, <laughs> people are telling me not to go to the... Um, go to the lights. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with going this other direction, but I think it will actually loop me around, because I think that's where the town is. I think that is actually coming from the town, that ghost light. Um, but I'm not sure about it. The other one, I think, might be the little uh, green car, possibly, that's, uh, that's going around. So, yeah, we're going to go over this way, and uh, hope that by the time we get to the town, it's all gone. I'm aware my hunger meter is gradually increasing. There's not very much I can do at the moment, because I'm pretty sure we're at that time of day where the pub's closed and the shop's closed. So I can't really worry about it too much. Uh, we've got to hope that by the time we get there, the shop will be open. The hunger bar is relatively lenient in that when it gets to red, it's not an immediate death. You do have some leeway, unless it's changed since I last played this game, in which case then it might be immediate death and then we're in trouble. Either way, I can't actually do anything about it at the moment because I'm probably just as quick going... Well, I probably will, but definitely will be just as quick going to the to the the town as I am going back home again. That is a horrible corner. I, I love that corner and hate that corner all at the same time. It is uh, absolutely absolutely terrifying. But when you get it right, it's great fun. Such a ridiculous uh, descent down the other side. Okay, we have made it to the tarmac road, and there is some well, kind of ghost lights going on. I'm assuming they're street lamps. Uh, 
There we go. Phasing through the trees and whatnot. Now, does this mean we're going to have to actually pay attention as to what we're doing at these junctions so we don't pull out in front of something? Nothing's coming from that direction, so we are good. These, this one here does actually have a uh, bit of a slip road, which is nice. No, nice, nice little bit of slip road down there. There is a car ahead of us. Uh, I could really do without a police roadblock down this part. It doesn't look like... doesn't look like we are uh, going to run into one. I'm not going to die of hunger. <laughs> We're not going to die of hunger. I'll crash into the petrol station if it looks like we're going to die of hunger. Uh, I just don't know, I'm assuming the petrol station um, can't explode. It'd be quite funny if it could, but I'm kind of working on the assumption that it can't. Maybe I'll try and get run over. If um, the, the, the yellow car tends to hang around, we can probably go and uh, mess around with that at some point. We might, uh, yeah, we might go do that. We will see. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to have a clock. I don't think this has a clock in it. Oh, it's wobbly. Wobbly van. Wobbly van at like 80 kilometers an hour. Oh, that might have been closer to 100, to be honest. It was it was wibbling and a wobbling. And uh, there we go. Right, we've made it to the town. We've made it into into town. Please be open, shop. I uh, could do with some... I could do with some food. The yellow car has crashed into the, into the pub. Hello, yellow car. Please don't run me over. I know I've weed on you before. However... Forget that. That was in a different- that was a parallel universe, okay? I have not weed on you in this universe yet. Whoops, I might have been pressing accelerate when I meant to be pressing reverse. Or brake. That's clever of me. Um... <laughs> okay, we're putting this around here just so it's more difficult for that yellow car to crash into me. Right. Now begins the grand shop heist. Because we might have to do it. Um, because I think we're too early for, uh, much. Uh, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> um... Well, why, 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 uh, I mean, I could kill, the, I don't have anything to kill the yellow car with at the moment. Bugger. Okay, I guess we've got to entertain ourselves. Um, we, we, we've got to entertain ourselves, um, for a little while. Please be open. Please be, oh, bloody hell. Uh, uh, oh, looks like the pub might be. No, nothing is open. Look, if we could just, oh, hey, look, don't mind me. I could do with a little bit of food. I came here for sort of important supplies. I could do with a little bit of a uh, little bit of food, if you fancy. You know, look, I can see, I can read the menu from right here. I don't want the vodka. No, we do. We want food. I think the food might be the top one. I don't know. Um, or it could be the bottom one. It could be any of the. Uh, it's not the middle one because that looks like an amount of drink. That looks like centiliters. Um, could we have some food? Uh, no. Who do we wee on? Do we wee on the yellow car, or do we wee on the guy that's refusing to... Ooh, did I? Oh, it's just on that door. Um, audience, take a pick. We on the guy that's refusing to give us food, or we on the car just because it's there. Uh, <laughs> it's, it is down to you to decide who it is that gets peed on. This stream has gone in a very weird direction, I will be honest. Let's face it, from my previous track record, though, it does seem like... Uh, <laughs> It does seem like a sort of thing that I would do. Basically, whenever I am displeased, something gets weed on. And by the looks of it, the car. By the looks of it, the yellow car is going to be the one that gets weed on. Well, there we go. Uh, shall we do it from standing up here? I'm not actually sure we've quite got the range. We'll give it a go. Uh, not quite. Okay, we'll go a little bit closer. There we go. <laughs> I also love that he's not done anything to move out of the way of this. We're just weeing through the window at him. And there is no... <laughs> there is not a care in the world. I'm really surprised he didn't try and... Uh... Oh, now there's a care in the world. Hello, don't mind me. Nope, 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 nope. Get up there. Okay, we're fine. He's just being a lunatic. <laughs> um, sure. I, I, I think he's probably going to kill himself. It's a, if the driver dies. Can you, I don't think you can drive the car. I don't think you can steal it at any point. Oh, go on. Bin it in the ditch. Well done. Well done, good sir. And people make Mustang jokes. You have proved that anybody can bin their car in the ditch when they're driving like a moron. Uh, oh, please be beached. Please be beached. No, oh, he got it free. Well, at least we've, got, we've, we've had a wee. We've got some entertainment. He's crashed into a post now. Uh, there's a bus. We can go play with the bus. Um, we got a wee on the bus. I think we're out of wee. We have to wait for our wee to recharge. Um, where are you going? Don't hit my van. Where are you going? Oh, hit the bus. And hey, bonus points. 
bonus points for crashing into a bus. Uh, <laughs> what is he? What is he even trying to do, dude? Can you open the shop yet? Possibly. I could do with some food. No, we are just gonna leave the moron out here. Where's he going now? Oh, he's just oh, and not quite into somebody's house. Uh, <laughs> I would uh, I would wee on the bus driver, but I don't think I have any wee left to wee on the bus driver. And also, if the bus happens to drive away with me in it, we're in a lot of trouble. Um, I, I can't do anything about the hunger. There is literally nothing I can do at the moment. Uh, oh, he's buggered off. No, come back! Our source of entertainment has left us. The sun is coming up. Dude! Open the shop, please. Uh, have we got enough wee to get you yet? Uh, let's give it a try. And, oh. Yeah, I think I'm more... <laughs> kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was just about enough to to irritate him. That was there was there was just about enough we to irritate the uh, uh, pub owner. However, there we go. Um, well, bus driver, do you have any food? If not, you might get weed on as well. This is basically how the <laughs> this is how this series ends with me trying to find some food and weeing on people. That's it. There, there. <laughs> Uh, hey. No! No! You saw me coming! No, come back, boss! Now all of our entertainment is gone! Oh, it's all gone. It's all gone. Why is all the fun gone? He's almost. He's driven through a signpost to get away from me. <laughs> oh, dear. Um. This is the adventures of, of Finland. I probably shouldn't be jumping around. Oop! Ah! He's back! He might try to murder me! No, don't murder me with that! Ah! I've, I've run out of sprint at the moment. Um, I can't sprint. I think I'm that hungry. You know what? Uh, we're gonna hide over here now. I'm very, very scared. That door doesn't open, does it? Oh, no! Go over that way! Let me get back around to the front of the shop. Yeah, you go do your things over there. Uh, we're gonna go over here. Please let me in now! This is becoming a weird survival horror game. Are you going to let me in yet? Uh, admittedly, I am the one that's um, probably the most terrifying character in the village at the moment. Well, um, I think we're going to go back up to the pub. I, I would like to be able to have a seat. Shall we? Um, it can't be that long, surely. Surely we cannot be that long until the, the shop opens. Excuse me. Again, look, you can... You can hide in here all you like. I wish I could throw something. I don't actually have anything to throw uh, around at the moment. Um, oh, the bus is back. Dude, have you got... Oh, no. Um, I mean, that, that was... It, it kind of said hello briefly and is now buggered off. Please open the shop, goddammit. Uh, there are... Uh, I think I hear the music of a... Um, uh, what's it called? Like a, a yellow car around the place. Uh, shall we go to the MOT place? Does that, or the inspection place? Does that have a... Ooh, that's open. Okay. We're going to go get distracted, and we're going to, um... Oh, yeah, someone's saying I can save an advanced time by an hour, but it's a little bit cheating. It is a little bit cheating, and we're, we're not going to do it. I think there's good advice, but, um, we're not going to... As, yeah, that would be very, very cheaty. As I said, we have got some, as far as I'm aware, unless things have changed, we do actually have some leeway with the, the hunger. But that is a, in, unless things have changed. So, yeah. <laughs> unless there is magical food. Do, is there magical food in here? Nope. Um, well, we're going to go and investigate the, uh, the shop. Yeah, I, I apologise. This was supposed to be about building a car. It's now ended up not being. Admittedly, most of you already knew that. Most of you already know exactly how I was going to end up playing this game. And, uh... Yeah. There we go. Right. Uh, we are going to go and investigate over here because I'd rather... Ooh, I'd rather drive than walk because it might save me a little bit of energy. Uh, let's go and have a look. Because this bit here is open. Can we do anything when we're in here, though? I mean, probably not, quite frankly. Let's search the uh, garage for some food. This has literally become a survival horror game. There is... Uh... Hello! Do you have some food? You, 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 you've got your mechanics butt crack on show, but do you have any food anywhere? That's what we're after. Food? A tool? No? Nothing? Uh, no, I don't want a vehicle inspection. Don't go buying that yet. Um... 
Well, there's absolutely nothing inside this garage. It's got to be... Surely the shop's got to be opening very, very shortly. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's got to be... Um, yeah, I mean, I, I could try and eat the, the guy, but I don't think there's that option yet. Um, I, don't, I don't think that is a, the thing that can be done in this game. Like, we can't kill people for food. Uh, it's not quite that sort of a game. Uh, we could try and run him over with a car and see what happens, but I'm not sure the car is going to... F what happens if you try and drive a motorbike in there? Oh, well, there's a lot of fun that could be had driving motorbikes around buildings, I think. Um, I think the um, shop might be open by now. Let's have a look. Uh, there is... Oh, he's still in there. What happens if we try and ram-raid the shop? Uh, let's, let, let, uh, that's probably not going to end particularly well, is it? Uh, in fact, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to have a small accident and apparently that would be my death. I, I don't trust the uh, the game enough to uh, try that one. Right, we're going to park this here. We're going to have a little bit of extra protection against that yellow car if he happens to come back. And then there's a light button somewhere around here. There we go. Handbrake can come on. Engine can go off. And then we will leave the van. Uh, we can hide in the van as well if the car comes back. Hey, it's open! The door is open! There is food! Hello! We have literally- we are the first customer here. Uh, I need sausages. I need sausages immediately. Don't even bother with that register. Don't even bother with the bag. There we go. Sausages! We're alive! Woo! We live to- uh, <laughs> We live to- uh, well, try and build the car some more. Literally, this stream has been the first 20 minutes of technical difficulties and the next 30 minutes of trying to buy some food. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, I want some more sausages now. We're hungry. Um, and eat and eat. Uh, oh, now we need some drink. Um, didn't think about this. Uh, we have some two-stroke fuel. That's probably not so safe. Um, okay, there it is. Uh, this isn't particularly gone to plan, but never mind. Thank you. Right. This is for not opening the shop when I needed you to. Wait for it. Come on. Drink faster, you moron. Have a... Well, didn't really blink at that, particularly. So, have another one. And throw. That'll do. Right. Uh, this isn't at all what I... Well, it kind of was ish what I came for. But we were going to get other bits and pieces while we're here. By the time we get to set off, we should be undrunk. You tend to undrunk very quickly on this game, so <laughs> yeah, that can close. Right, uh, we are going to buy a whole bunch of that crap because we'll need it. We'll get some motor oil. We'll get a couple just to be on the safe side. And we'll buy that last one there while we are here. It's only eight hundred, and then all of the sausages. Yeah, we'll take that, and then I think that's probably we should we could have. I don't know if you can just drink the, the, the concentrate straight up. Um, might be able to. Might be able to. But, uh, yeah. Let's go and get 961 monies. Okay. Thank you for managing to fit all of those bottles of brake fluid. Oh, and the fan belt. We'll get that in a second. Almost, almost forgot. Almost went home without getting the bloody fan belt. Uh, <laughs> That would not be a particularly uh, particularly great start. However, we got to come back into this thing and do about four trips because of all the bloody um, what's it called? That tubs that uh, are in there. Yeah, we'll take that as well. Thank you. Well, that's half of my money gone. Where is it? Did you drop it on this pile? Um. Ah, right, okay. Someone just said it'll be put in my bag. Thank you. Uh, otherwise, I would have searched around the shop for hours trying to find the damn thing. Uh, <laughs> as, long as, it's, uh, as long as it's in there, we'll get, I'll probably get home and we'll find that it's glitched its way through a floor somewhere. But never mind. Uh, that can go out the door. I should have done this method earlier. So we will just uh, throw the things out there. And another one. I'm kind of disappointed we haven't seen the yellow car again. We, I, I was enjoying the, uh, the the terrible donut show. It was something to keep us going through those very very hungry hours of the morning. It was it was it was worthy entertainment. It was worthy entertainment indeed. Goodbye. Sorry for weeing on you. Uh, that should be a side I think on the back of my cars in this game. Just sorry for weeing on you. Um, and that could go in there as well. I hear noisy car. Oh, he's back! He's gone again. Just made a brief appearance. He knew we were leaving the area and wanted a last little bit of screen time before we uh, before we buggered off. 
So, <laughs> there we go. Right, that can get closed. We've been through all this. I am fully, way hello. I am fully aware that we have been through all this. You know, now we're on top of the van. Uh, that uh, we will um, die on the way back. Like, we have, um, we have survived so very much. So very much has been survived on the journey. Uh, well, journey two here and the um, adventures around the shop. However, we are going to die in a silly, silly, silly way. <laughs> I am fully prepared for this. All of this effort might be in vain. We might also get pulled over. I say we might get pulled over by a policeman. The fact is we're not really drinking anymore, so it doesn't really matter too much. It is kind of completely and utterly irrelevant. So, um... There we go. Right. We will set off back home. To anybody who has just joined us, um, I apologise, kind of, for the bizarre weeing on people and faffing about trying to find food for 30 minutes when you're expecting me to build a car. Like, I, I, I'm kind of sorry, but then also that, that's what happens on my summer car. We just kind of, oh, don't drive into a truck. That would be a poor way to go. Uh, yeah, I kind of get distracted. Things don't really go to plan. We prat around for a while, and nothing really gets achieved. Occasionally, I roll a vehicle, and there we go. Oh, yeah, and, and you will have missed the terrible, terrible technical problems that befell all of my internet. So, yeah. At the moment, this is about the smoothest things have gone today. No, we are not going to wee on the police. Well, I mean, we might if we see them. I'm not going on a single quest to wee on the police. Oh, bus! Hello! I didn't get to wee on you either. That is a new quest. Wee on every possible person in the Finland. Well, this bit of Finland anyway. This van goes really wibbly wobbly at 120 kilometers an hour. That's a, um... That's an interesting thing. That's, uh, yeah. Let's not go that sort of speed too often. Admittedly, that is the only... That is the single place that, uh, <laughs> that you can go at, uh, 100 and whatever, 120. But, uh... Yeah, it's someone keeping track of how many near deaths I've had on this. At the moment, I only count the wobble on the bike as a real near death and the food slash thirst. That was kind of quite close. That was kind of quite close to being uh, to being a death. It was more of an inconvenience than a near death experience. This might be another one. Uh, no, that's fine. It was only a little bobble off the road. I mean, in in terms of my summer car, there is. Uh, <laughs> There, there's little bubbles off the road like that, and then there is full-on we're about to roll over and everything's going wrong sort of bubbles off the road, and that, that, that wasn't one of them yet. I haven't had a heart attack. Well, I've had minor ones. Well, I guess we have the ghost vehicles. Do we count ghost vehicles as near-death experiences? Because I don't really know what they were. We've still not solved the great mystery of the Finnish ghosts. I would be quite curious. and I'd, I think one of them was the little green car, but where the light was spawning was like other sides of the lake, so either it Either the way it spawns in is weird, or it's cheating and teleporting around. Or it's magic. Probably the latter, I'll be honest. Don't fall in the horrible ditch, don't fall in the horrible ditch. Um, down there, I have got cars stuck. I don't know if it's that one, there's a few around the place. Oh god, I think I got stuck in that one on the outside there though. You don't see it until you start turning the corner. Yeah, I have got cars stuck in ditches before. It's a nightmare to try and get them out again. Uh, the bigger problem is if I do get this stuck, I would have to walk home. And walking home would not be would not be good for my life, really. I think we'd probably die before we made it home. We could probably carry the crate of beer with us for thirst. Oh no 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 no! Get off that! Get off that! Get off that! Ugh. Okay, that's a ooh, that's a little bit bigger bubble off the road. Don't get in the tree. Okay, we've avoided the tree. God damn! <laughs> These little ditches they catch your car. Oh no, don't that's a very, very big ditch. You gotta get the wheel stuck over the um over the edge of the road. It's really difficult to fight it back. It's really difficult to get it back on the road. And then when you do, you suddenly find grip and then the car spears off to the left or to the right, depending on which way you were trying to save it. And uh, yeah, that's not that's not good in any way, shape or form. We've not fallen in the water. Um that was a, a, a smaller uh, <laughs> that was that was a they're not quite full near-death experiences. I would say they are slightly heart rate quickening experiences. We're going to go for that. Sure, that, that doesn't really have quite the same ring to it as near-death uh, near experience. Can I try and wee on the train? Um, can I? Yes. Will it end up in me being either A, run over, or B, drinking my own pee? Uh, probably. I'm not sure how the... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not sure how that is uh, is going to work particularly. Uh, probably not very well. Well, I mean, it, 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 it's a way to go. Attempting to wee on a train, I'll be honest. Um, I haven't actually seen, apart from me hearing the train horn, I haven't seen the train uh, in this game yet. I don't really know how it reacts with the objects around it as such. Oh, get on the brakes. I don't know if there's any real use to it other than just being something that you can crash into by accident when you're not paying attention. Just another way to um, possibly die. That is a, um, yeah, quite... Uh, <laughs> Quite likely, and we are heading down towards our driveway. Well, I say our driveway, it's kind of the road towards our town, but nobody else ever goes down it, we're the only one living there. There's like four or five buildings around, but you never see anybody else. So, yeah. Ah. Well, I hope everything is uh, is, is going well with, with, with you lots. I'm, I'm trying to take my mind off the task of driving at the moment. I'm trying not to focus I say not to focus too much, not to think too much, just kind of drive on instinct and not worry too much about the imminent doom that may befall us at any possible corner. Um, because, yeah, even though now we're on the kind of home straight stretch here, it's still fraught with danger. There used to be a... I remember there used to be a, a bug around one of these roads that you'd hit and it would just launch the car miles up into the air that has uh, long since been fixed. However... I'm still perfectly capable of going off course and rolling. That uh, telephone, well not telephone mast, the giant, giant mast. Maybe that's where the ghosts were coming from. Maybe they're from that over there. Um, that signifies we are almost, that's sort of like the last corner off of this, or sort of the last main turn off this road. We are nearly, we are nearly at home. Don't crash. Don't crash. There it is. I see part of my buildings. Oh, don't fall off the road now, you moron. And there we go. There it is. The beautiful, beautiful house of mine. We've made it! I bet none of you were expecting that. <laughs> we have made it back and we're not dead. And break. And that can go on there. Well. We have made it home. <laughs> that was more of an adventure than expected. I'm going to be honest. I just thought, you know, we'll go there. We'll get some. We'll get some food. We will um, get some. Get the parts that we need. Oh crap! Uh, when we open this, there is going like <laughs> at the moment. This is sort of like a, a a massively compressed bag. When we open that, it is going to spurt everything out everywhere, just everywhere. So that's going in the kitchen for now. Um, you know what, we're going to smash our head through the wall to get some drink, as you do, as has been confirmed as being the correct finished way to drink water. So we will, uh, we will do that. And there we go. Right. Uh, we shall... Uh, shall we open the explodey bag? Right, um, we are going to... Uh, is there not a door for the kitchen? Oh, I always kind of assumed there was a door. I never really paid much attention to it. And poof! <laughs> it wasn't quite. It kind of fired them out in a line a lot better than I expected. I was I was kind of expecting it to spurt them out in every single direction, but it didn't. It actually just fired them out in a nice, neat line. Okay, well this can go in here for now. Yeah, they can live in there. I doubt we're going to get to the stage where we need to worry about them yet. So <laughs> I doubt we're going to get to the stage where this car engine is working by the end of this uh, end of this stream because so far I've put on the front subframe a steering rack that's not bolted in and the back, and that's it. Like you, uh, you can build this car, and I have built this car in a couple of hours when you pay attention and do things properly, which is not me when I'm streaming. <laughs> Is never pay attention and do things properly. That, that is just not the fail race. Well, it kind of is when we're doing actual sensible racing, but when we're doing, when I'm doing this, there is no, there is no sensibleness. Sensibleness is a, is a word. Um, right, let's get the steering rack put in, and then we'll get the front suspension on. If we can at least get the wheels and like the running gear. Oh, yep, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, what did I do? What have got on there? Why is that in there? Uh, oh, I did, I did uh, accidentally manage to um, left click, I guess, undid the steering rack. So well done, me. Uh, right, there we go. Is that put them back on with that? Oh, okay. So if uh, I didn't know that, if the 
if only two of those bolts are done up, you can still un you can still eject the part, but when you put it back on, they're already done up. I'm not sure I trust this steering rack. Um, I'm not not at all sure I trust this steering rack, quite frankly, but it's on. Admittedly, it's going to be wonky as anything because I can't set the um, thing up. Oh, sorry, I forgot about the tap. We're just wasting water. Don't don't mind me. Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, no, no, I've got a better plan. Let's waste all of the water. Yes, yes, we shall we shall waste all of the water, and then we will have to bear grills it up. And we, we see we've been getting practice for this exact moment. We've been getting practice for this exact moment when we have to bear grills it up and uh, uh, feed everyone. We um, there's nothing in that cupboard. Um, there we go. So now I'm going to annoy more of you. So <laughs> I am a terrible, terrible troll. Uh, did the car? Get nudged. Huh. What's happened to my car? I've just realised that that pile of stuff wasn't things I'd knocked into it. It was from the other. It was from this side of the vehicle, and you can see where I left the neat piles either side to work on it later. How how has that happened? Did it? Have I been blind? Have um, I not noticed something that's gone on in the vehicle? Or was it me climbing over the vehicle that's nudged it to the side? Um, I don't know. The go <laughs> is between either the water that's going to flood my house or the ghosts are back again. I really do seem to have a knack of um, making ghosts in this game. It's just something that seems to go on. When did that get moved? I don't know. That's really weird. That is really weird. I don't like this very much. I didn't know we were playing a horror game. This might be the most terrifying game I've ever played. Uh, just random bits of throwing around. I mean, we have had the full-on haunted car before. I think that bug might have been fixed since, uh, since we had Attack of the Haunted Satsuma. However, I'm never, I'm never quite sure quite, uh, on this now. Uh, what size... Spanner is needed for these things. They look tiny. Okay, there we go. That's got it. Ah, well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, apparently, apparently, I am indeed haunted by ghosts. It's um. Yeah, not the best of things. However, we we'll, we'll make it work. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to make it work. We're going to survive. We're not going to freak out about everything. Um, I wonder if. I wonder if me messing around with a steering rack caused some issues, but I wouldn't like. I, I can notice this is bumping the car about slightly if you don't put it in quite right. Um, however, I would have thought um, I would have seen it if it was the other thing. What have I forgotten to put in? Um, what have I forgotten to put in the front of this car? I don't know why that's. Um, not doing it. Does push work again? Oh, it does! Ah, fantastic! We can push the car back again. For a while, this wasn't push wasn't actually doing anything. So, um, yeah, the, it's nice to have the, the ability to push back. It is also the the ability to break everything because it does. It, you really can just push stuff around and completely wreck the car. Um, the wonderful people of oh, do I have to put the spindle on first? I thought I had to put that on afterwards, but that makes a lot of sense. Thank you, thank you, wonderful people of chat. Uh, <laughs> There we go, and then that can go in there. Uh, that is all manners of wonk, but never mind. And then I guess we put the suspension on afterwards. Da, 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 da. Um, that does look very wonky back there, however... Never mind. And Are we going to have any possible... Maybe it's a bigger one. Like down there somewhere? There we go! Ha-ha! Is that the only one that we have to do? Uh, ah, there's another one in there. The second one? Like, I feel like there should be two on this. It's like a quite important part of the car. There does only seem to be one. Also, it doesn't look like it's really gone in very far either, but never mind. Um, that's on. Do we put this in next? Yes, we do. Oh, quickly. Oh, bugger. <laughs> We've just thrown it into the engine bay. That's not... A, like, the, the problems you have with this game of putting parts on is not necessarily putting them on in the right order or knowing where they go. It's the game freaking out and throwing them about. <laughs> like, I, I know where this goes. It's trying to find that bloody hitbox to um, put the parts on uh, as and when you need it. 
Uh, now we're going to play the game of Guess the Spanner. There we go. We have won the game of uh, Guess the Spanner. And then we've got the top bits to do. Why are you moving? What the hell has gone on with my car? <laughs> Let's just... Nobody pay any attention to the state at which the um, shock absorber is in. That's not supposed to look like that, I don't think. <laughs> um, guys, I think I've broken it a little bit. I think I think we've broken the. I, I, th I think it's more than a little bit, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's. I, I'm not sure this car is going to pass inspection, looking like that. I'm pretty sure that's an. Inst I'm pretty sure that's not going to get to the end of the road, looking like that. Oh, bugger it. Guess the spanner again. Guess the spanner is not my strong suit. Nope. And a nope. And a nope. And that one, maybe? Nope. Uh, the, the other worst part about it is I'm never quite sure if I've got the hitbox right and whether it's just that I've got the hitbox or missed the hitbox when I selected a particular size. So you end up going through the toolbox twice to um, find the damn thing that is... Uh, that is working. Why is this not wanting to... Don't tell me it's like the bloody largest one or something. Or it's either that or it's like so broken in here that it's now actually not letting me tighten the... Uh... I don't know why that's not worth. Chat! I need help. What size is it supposed to be? Does anyone know? So that at least I'm, I'm not just blindly guessing. This has basically become Twitch builds a car. More than me. Because I... <laughs> You get stuck and confused. Um, I'm hoping when I tighten the top, that shock absorber is going to look healthier. Uh, Eight-ish is the call. We will have a look at eight-ish. Um, eight. Let's try that. Uh, if not, then we will go vaguely around. Um, smallest? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go from eight down for now then and see. I swear I did try the smallest. Maybe I've missed maybe that's the one that I missed. Um, okay, a lot of people say the smallest one. It's not working. Have I managed to completely glitch the car? Uh, maybe a nine then, if eight didn't work. Aha! We've got it! We've found it! Uh, we've got the, it's the ten. Okay, the, alright, I think I know what's gone on. I think the hitbox might have gone a little bit wonky with the condition of that shock absorber because I'm having to really click on it in a weird place. Um, it's on. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's not healthy. Shall we see if the other side comes out as healthy? Thank you, chat. Um, let's go and spin this thing around. Uh, let's try and see if our other shock absorber is going to be as buckled as that one. I hope it will fix itself, but I don't really know. Don't really know at all if that shock absorber is going to fix itself over there. Um, get that in there and finish head bump. My kitten's woken up and is now no kitten. You can't go in there, Cass. Good boy. He is now. He likes to go to my desk and then climb up the wall and then kind of like bat at the underside of the desk. I don't really know why, because there's nothing up there of any interest. Now he's buggered off again. He's being a cat. Essentially, he's um, he's being a, a, a very much an asshole cat. Right, I'll remember the correct order to put stuff on in, and that's this next, and then we will try and not have the world's most broken shock absorber. I'm thinking it was that spanner was the right one. Uh, I'm not even sure it's the shock absorber's fault, quite frankly. I think the spindle might be slightly bent on that other side, or something's bent on the other side because when I put the spindle on there, it. Uh, didn't go at the right angle. Oh, now we're playing this game again. Try to find the right one that I've completely forgotten was what it was. Aha! I think I've actually found at least the hitbox. I seem to remember it being a massive one for there. But I think I've found where I need to click at least. Toolbox, come over here for a second. Um, as if I'm expecting it to kind of, you know, do exactly what, uh, what I tell it to. Uh, have we found the... Oh, I think I got it though. That looks like the right size. There we go. Spindle is on. Excellent. Now, shock absorber. 
we will put this in. Now, will this one here be as crapped up as the other one? No, look. Oh, there we go. Right, that one there's in. Has it fixed the other side? It, oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> it hasn't. It has not at all. Uh, I'm, I'm not sold on this car being safe for uh, road use. I'm not sold on this car being safe to sit on my driveway, quite frankly. It's a little bit on the, um, yeah, terrifying side. Once we've got this stuff in, then at least we've kind of done running gear. It's only taken me an hour and a half to, uh, to put running gear on the car. Uh, I love that people are now wanting me to wheel everything that we find around here. Um, it, it, it is most effective when it's on other people's belongings, not on your own belongings. Um, admittedly, we might try to fix the shock absorber with that method. However, uh, I'm not sure. There we go. Right. Uh, maybe maybe it's magical. Who knows? Uh, I wonder if I actually if I sleep, if I reset stuff, whether that will then uh, reset that shock absorber position. I'm not really expecting it to, but uh, you, you, you never know, really. Uh, can I not get that? There we go. Okay, I'm having issues getting the bolts around the thing as well. Um... Yeah, I don't know what's up with that other spindle. I'm kind of hoping it's going to fix itself. Oh, what is going on with this hitbox as well? Come on, there we go. I'm, I'm really, really hoping it is uh, going to sort itself out when I kind of put other bits and pieces on. I think maybe... Boy, hello car. Oh, that's... Okay, that's not really good. Uh, <laughs> it's... Uh... I'm not sure that that is a um, convincing, yeah, convincing condition one. Let's go and put this other stuff in. Um, right, I'm trying to remember what order these parts go in. We've managed to jump the down. Well, I say we've managed to. The car has jumped its way across so bloody far. This way, please. Uh, push, push. And they will push the background as well. I swear this was moving easier earlier. Maybe not. Right. Okay. We will... I think I can shove these in in whatever order and it will eventually work. Maybe. Possibly. Because um, they all need to go in here. Let's try. And I'm wondering if I put this in, whether this will sort out the issues we're having. No, it doesn't look like it's going to, does it? Oh, crap. That does not look like it's going to sort out any issue we are having whatsoever. We're going to have... I mean, I've, I've, I've called cars Wobblematic Suspension in the past, but this is this is serious, serious stuff right now. Uh, maybe your Diddy one, nope. Uh, slightly less, no. Now we play, guess the spanner game once more. And hope I don't even know if the hitbox on this is going to be working. Ooh, guess the spanner game has just had an idea as to why that might be wonky as anything because there's a bolt not done up in there. Chat, you didn't shout at me. Well, you might have done, and I might just have missed it. So I apologise, chat, if you shouted at me and I didn't pay any attention. That's my bad. Um, <laughs> there is one undone though. Maybe that's why we've got jelly. Admittedly, that shouldn't be why we've got jelly shock, but. No, not while we have Jelly Shock. Um, it's not quite worked. That fix. Well, we'll carry on uh, with guessing spanner sizes for that thing. Um, one day we'll get there. Uh, it's, uh, all the wheel things are 12s. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> hey! I think we've fixed it. Look at that! I did a mechanicing thing and it didn't involve weeing on something and we've got a car that's got maybe steering-ish. That is about the best thing I can say about this car currently. It has maybe steering-ish. Um, oh, bugger. Missed the tick. Come on, tick, come back. Thank you. And then that can go in there. So this should then... Yep. Woohoo! We have fixed terrible Wobblematic. Kind of Wobblematic. Um... Right, sweet. And then we will stick in this, I think, and then the brake over the top, maybe. Is it that way around? I don't really know. Uh, yes, it is that way around, because I'm pretty sure that bit there goes in the gearbox. Maybe we want to... we might have to put this in first. 
I'm not really sure, uh, quite frankly. Let's see, I need a giant one for this. And that can go in there, because I thought that went into the half shaft, but never mind, we'll see. Uh, maybe we'll try going the other way then. No, I'm pretty sure that that end there goes in the... I don't even think it matters if you get it in the right hitbox area. It should just... Um, it should just go connected. Unless, again, unless they've updated something and this method doesn't work anymore. Because it used to be you could put this in and tighten it all before uh, you had to put the gearbox in. Am I doing something wrong with this? Or... I don't know. Uh, they would say open that and then do it. That could work. That could work, actually. Uh, oh, come on now. Come on now. Aha! There we go. Again, it's, it's often really difficult to know whether I've put something in the wrong order or whether I've just missed a hitbox. Uh, <laughs> quite frankly, it is uh, not the easiest of tasks. Right. We've almost got the vague running gear working. To anybody that is just joining the chat, I apologise for all of the shouting of weeing on stuff. I do. It was an entertaining joke for 20 minutes of weeing on passing cars because we were waiting for a shop to open. Now they're just, now they're just determined to have me wee on everything. So, <laughs> we, we shall go the rest of the video and not wee on anything at all. Just because that's, 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 that, that, that's how I am. Uh, you know, we, 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 I like to troll the audience. We like to, we like to um, not do anything that we are supposed to be doing basically. And uh, people want me to wee on stuff, we won't wee on stuff. If people want me to do something else, then we probably will end up weeing on stuff. That's just the way it goes. If there's something different to do, that's what I do. Anyway, gearbox, not gearbox, uh, front bits are in. Wiggly bits are fixed, and everything is going quite well. That's the, the gist of my car mechanic simulator rings at the moment. Uh, I guess we're going to have to start getting like... Uh, ah, fantastic. We can get wheel... Oh, we can get wheels on it. Uh, we can get the wheels on the car, that will make it easier to push around. We might actually get it in the workshop. Bloody hell, there is progress! People, there are progress being made here. I know it's a peculiar thing for me to be saying, but progress has been... has been made eventually. So... <laughs> there we go. Um, literally, all, all the chat is talking about is weeing on stuff. Somebody misses the saxo. I, 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 I approve of that. Yeah, we could have a saxo in here. Oh, imagine the awesomeness that would be a Saxo in my summer car. It would be, well it's French so it'd probably fall apart every 30 seconds. You'd be constantly fixing it. But it would be brilliant! It would be able to overtake anything around the country. Right? You might as well bother with a rally because you know the Saxo would win. People could build Quattros and the Saxo would still win. We know how mighty the, uh, the Saxo is. Let's go stick this in while we're here. It's a nice simple thing to uh, get out of the way of the workshop. I, I don't know if there's any particular time that this has to have been installed after. I think it can be installed just sort of straight off the bat. That could go in there. Uh, do we have... I'm assuming we've got to have some stuff to tighten for that. I don't know where. Uh, whereabouts is it? Um, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Well, that'll do. Um, what, what makes the uh, what makes the Saxo so mighty is it was nigh on unbeatable in Enthusia. There was uh, only about three or four cars that ever beat it, and it was beating Subaru Impreza's, Evos. It was beating a Mustang. Admittedly, the Mustang did involve a little bit of dive bombing from me. A, a, a little bit of dive bombing. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it beat so many, so many incredibly fast cars on Enthusia that it really shouldn't have done. Admittedly, the Citroen C3 did a fairly similar job as well on a stream whenever it was that the Citroen went around. Um, so yeah, that is why the Saxo is a uh, legend among, oh, among, among fail race for its ability to embarrass stuff. Right, what have we got over here? Kitten is... I, you're not going to be able to hear Kitten because my microphone is uh, relatively directional, but... Uh, yeah, Kitten has just decided to come into my room meowing away at, uh, at me, so we may, we may get, if Kitten decides to get bored and wants to come investigate the microphone, you may get, you may just get a Kitten meow. It's unlikely, but you might, if you're really, really lucky, get, uh, get a Kitten meow. What's up, Cass? He's now just meowing away constantly in the background. Yep, he is, um, yep, he's just sort of sat behind me meowing at the moment, so. <laughs> oh, dear. Good old kitten. Um, there we go. Hello, Cass. Oh, no, you're now sat on my foot. Well, yeah, we've got... Uh, 
He, he likes to do that. Like he, when, he, when he wants attention, he'll just go and sit on my foot. Uh, that was front left, that was front right. I can go over there. Oop, don't drop the thing on the car. Probably not the cleverest thing. Rear left. There we go. And then we'll... I, I like to kind of set stuff out. Uh, people heard the cat. Hey! Well done. <laughs> well done, kitten. Kitten, you're f kind of famous. Very briefly famous. To a very small... To all 240 people that are watching. And maybe more if I put this up on YouTube. Where have you gone? Kitten! Hello. Are you going to come and say hello properly? Or are you just going to wander around? I've given up playing game now. We've just got cats. Cats! Well, you, no, you're just, you just want to fuss, don't you? Eh? I would pick him up and get him to come say hello. However, he is at a really awkward place under my desk that I'm not sure we could. Also, he's... He's sometimes okay with being picked up. He's, he's still a relatively young kitten. I think he's about six months old now. And, yeah, it's kind of all still relatively new to him. So... Yeah, oh, what are you doing, kitten? Yep, hold on, bear with me. I've got to go rescue Cat from bloody playing with wires. Ah, <sighs> There we go, Cat rescued. Um, right, I was putting that over that side, but that's rear, that's a front. I've lost my spanners. Um, there we go. Right, we have... Uh, <laughs> We have rescued Cat, we have got wheels going on car, wheel doing a dance, wheel on car. Brilliant. Uh, Cat's also just wandered back into the room, so there might be more rescuing of Cat. Uh, <laughs> in, the near, in the near future, um, he's wanting attention, as he, well, he always does. As I said, typical Cat wants attention uh, when, when he wants it. Not when you want to give him attention, necessarily, but uh, when, when he wants it. So, yeah, and these bars aren't too bad at the moment. Yeah, we're getting vaguely tired. We'll go to sleep at some point. Uh, it's fine. It's not. It's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. Uh, oh, where's the? There we go. That's the button. Uh, oh, hello, kitten. You come. Hold on a second. Okay, we have a kitten. Are you going to meow now? I bet you're not. Are you? Come on, microphone. Are you going to go and say hello to audience? No, you're just going to look generally bemused. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking no. Sorry, guys. We tried. Uh, <laughs> tried to get Kitten to say hello. He was not interested in it, of course. Uh, <laughs> no, he, has, uh, he has no interest in uh, meowing. At, again, when, when you want them to do something, typical cat has no interest at all. But uh, when, <laughs> when he wasn't aware that he was being uh, recorded, he was meowing away constantly. And now I think he is returning the favour of causing chaos somewhere in my room. Like, I can just hear something. Where's he gone? Nope, no, no. He's, he's, he's bugging off again. <laughs> I thought I could hear him rustling somewhere, but I don't know where, so he's off doing his own thing. Uh, I can't do a cat camera because the cat's bugging off. He's gone. I don't know where. He's off. <laughs> there is... Uh... I would fail an F1 pit stop if there was a kitten to distract me. I think most people would fail an F1 pit stop if there was a kitten to distract them, though, let's face it. Oh, no, I found the kitten. He's now trying to nom at my pedals. Cass, you are really being a little distraction box. Get away from the pedals, please. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> bloody cat. Uh, you love them, but they aren't half a pain in the ass sometimes. Uh, but it's much more entertaining to leave the door... Uh, to be fair, if I didn't have the door open, he would just sit outside the door and meow, and just meow until he was let in. He doesn't always want to be in the room with humans, but he wants to know that there is a way to get into the room with humans. Oh. He's still playing with wires. Gitten, you are on the verge of being kicked out, buddy. Come on. Out of there, out of there. No. Bad cat. There we go. Now, no, don't go back to the wires again. Oh, you little... He's being a pain in the ass. <laughs> This has now become the stream of me trying to prevent Cat from nomming through important wires. To be fair, he doesn't actually eat at the wires. He tends to just sort of batter them with his paw a little bit. Don't worry. Um, he is well enough trained not to actually go and eat stuff that he shouldn't. But uh, he's still a bit of an... He likes exploring. Uh, oh, I've managed to uh, windows out of that. That was clever of me. Um, right. We're looking pretty good in terms of car, by the way. Just just to get back on track briefly. Car is going well. Kitten is back at desk. Kitten. Ah. 
I'm fully waiting for him to come jump up on the desk and knock the microphone over, or knock the microphone stand out of the way. That's a very, very real possibility um, at some point, knowing him. Again, he knows he shouldn't go on the desk. I've, uh, you know, tried my very best to, well, I say I try, I, I regularly try my best to keep him off the desk and so on. And he's got to the stage where if he kind of, like, sits on my lap, he knows if his back legs are on me, he's not going to get told off. So he will sit there and um, will then try and stretch as far forward as he can to um, climb on the desk. So he, he basically just has his, um, uh, his, like, the, on tippy toes on his back legs on me trying to get out of the desk because that's just, yeah, <laughs> that's a cat for you. Again, there are many kitten anecdotes because, well, they always do something weird pretty much every single bloody day. Ah. <sighs> on the car front, we're going to put the handbrake in. Uh, I kind of end up doing these things relatively early on in the builds, just kind of get parts out of the workshop and while the car's still, you know, kind of this empty, it's sort of nice and easy to do. I don't know at what point um, it needs to be done. Kitten. Sorry, he's now being a real pain. You are on the verge of being kicked out for good, Cass. He's now running around on the pedals. Um, not, the problem is, of course, I'm not giving him any attention, and he wants attention. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, that would be that would be why. Handbrakes in. We will probably go and now try and push this car into the garage. Oh, wow, to see what I've done to the back of the car. Yeah, this... If I carry on this series, I might I might carry on streaming this game a little bit more. I will probably at some point. When the car's, like, complete, I will just cheat and uh, fix up the bodywork. Because the amount of money it takes to fix up the bodywork is so ridiculous that it's one of those that it's... It takes so long to earn that money is no point. There's just no point. And the car gets broken because it's made of paper. Like, the chassis is literally just paper. That's it. That That, that, that is all there is um, to it. So... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fairly, well, I say I'm fairly, I'm absolutely perfectly okay with bloody cheating to fix up the crappy bodywork. Uh, I tend to like to play games legitimately, however, it is uh, kind of necessary on this one. Now, I'm really hoping that that's lined up well enough. I'll just give it a little bit of a push. Uh, I'm not sure it particularly is. Uh, also, I think it does actually, yeah, it's sort of being twisted ever so slightly. The, the steering at the front, the wonky shock absorber, is... Uh, well, wonky, and I, well, I say wonky, it's not any more, but I think it is, might be, oh, crap, car, please stop car. How are we doing on lining up? Oh, we're not too terrible. We're not too terrible. It's not the worst lining up job I've done here. Yeah, the, the wheel alignment itself isn't great. However, if we take this nice and slowly, the car isn't going to fall in the pit. <laughs> if, we go, if we take it nice and, and, and carefully, we will hope and pray that the car doesn't fall into the pit. Oh! Look at that! Don't, no, don't let me fall in the pit, because if I fall in the pit, we'll be in trouble. Uh, if we just push it a little bit more this way, just a smidge, like so, and then... This is an incredibly important and delicate operation of try not to drop the car into the pit. Yes, you will notice it is at a slight angle, but I think it will straighten itself out, because I'm working against the alignment of the steering as it currently is. So that isn't too bad. Hey, look at that! I would say that that has worked pretty well. All things considered, now if I can push the arse of the car around a little bit, like so. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Okay, come back. Come back. That way, a smidge. There we go. It's a little bit close on this on this side. Uh, okay. hmm. It's a little bit twisted. I kind of want to push the whole thing across a, a tidy amount. Oh, I don't know if I do, actually. I think I just want to go and push it forwards. Uh, let's just careful. Okay, now we're good for now. We're good for now. We could have made a narrower pit or a better car. Either one would work. A car that goes better in a straight line would probably have been helpful. Uh, a narrower pit, less likely for me to fall in it. I think we're good, you know. Just push that far enough forward. Oh, wow. Really? The one time we get a good push is the time that I'm going in the bloody pit. Uh, it's not quite perfectly on, I'll give it that much. It is uh, quite teetering on edge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what is with the sudden massive strength? Okay, if we could not go for sudden big pushes, just little... You, you were doing little pushes very well, and now you're doing ginormous shuntings, and we're going to have a, well, problem. 
motor hoist can go in that corner. Um, front of car can just go as just a little bit, okay? Little. Uh, I'm not touching it anymore, okay? Uh, <laughs> it is not going to be moved anymore. That will do. For now, until I manage to knock it over and then there is crying, etc. Shall we go and get the various lines on the car? Shall we do this before we do engine? Yeah, we'll do this before we work, start work on the engine. Uh, we will, uh, we'll have a check over, of course, at some point with... Uh, oh, we've got like fuel tank and stuff as well that can be done. Uh, we'll have a check over, of course, to find any uh, loose odds and ends of um, bolts that are not tightened up. But that's uh, a little bit further down the line, that, uh, that particular stage. We might also go and have a sleep as well. Someone made a very good point uh, to go and save the game. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea, actually, seeing as it's been a while since I last saved it. That would be a solid, a solid plan. We'll go do that. Um, yeah, okay, right, here's the plan. We're going to go save the game. It's kind of a shame that you have to save and exit. I don't know if there is a way to save and not exit. Um, so, yeah, we'll save and exit, and then we will go back in, and then we'll go and have a sleep, I think, is probably the uh, correct idea. Uh, yeah, steering rack I need to go find a bolt for somewhere underneath it that I haven't done yet. Uh, we will do that. We will have a sleep. We will have some sausages because that's the important bit. Um, actually, we'll, no, we'll have sausages before we go to bed. Sure. Uh, <laughs> then we will go face plant into the bed. Kind of. <laughs> the, that, the, the tap and shower are staying on. They are staying on for as long as I play today. We might drain the lake, but it is... Actually, we're not going to drain the lake, because it's just going around in a circle. We can't waste water, because it's just going to cycle around. That's how the water cycle works. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. For a minute, for, there was just this this tiniest, tiniest um, split second thought I'd lost my car before I remembered I pushed it into here. There was just the tiniest of panics. Just a little one. Uh, not a full-blown Not a full-blown panic. But just a little one. Uh, right, that can sit up on there. Okay. Now we go back to our brilliant game. The downside of having the car up on this, while it makes a lot of work a lot easier, it does make playing the spanner guessing game a lot more, well, I say a lot more difficult. It's just a lot fiddlier. I was going to have it nicely up on the side, but for ease of use, we're going to put it down here. Can we? Oh, fantastic, we can. Right, we can get, grab that. Look at that. First... Well, second time. Well, kind of first time, actually. Uh, we're also going to try and do up all of these. See if I can not have leaky brake lines. It's one of those things that I always get with this game. <laughs> I always manage to uh, have the drive gear fall off, no matter how many times I check it. And I always have issues getting the brakes to work. That is, um, that is the way of the world. Kitten's come wandering back into my room. Uh... And he is now lying upside down, kind of half chewing, half batting at the bottom of his chair. Well done, kitten. Someone's having more fun. Uh, um, have we got everything done over here? Looks like we do. Uh, we did everything on this side, yes. Yes, we did. While I've got this spanner out, I'll go stick the other lines in as well. Um, uh, other lines. Gear I probably should put in. Um... Oh, we can put in the gear. We can put in the gear stick, and then we can put in the gear linkage. Where's the clutch? Uh, I don't know if I can. I'm assuming I can fit these in here. There is a line. Yeah, I can say I'm assuming I can fit these now. There is a line for the clutch that I don't know where. Whereabouts is it? I have lost an important bit. Uh, let's sort of feel strain, and that can go in as well. I think for now, maybe. Uh, We'll go down in a second. Where is the clutch fluid thing? Fuel pump. Why am I, why am I blind? <laughs> where, where, what am I missing? Where is it gone? Am I imagining things? Quite possibly. I don't know. I don't know, really. Um, yeah, okay, we'll go back to putting... 
this bit in, and I'm trying to remember which way around this bit goes. Again, not that I know if it necessarily matters, but... Uh, Can we pick it up? There we go, we can pick it up. Uh, I thought that bit sat on the side, but I'm now not really sure. Again, I'm not, I can never remember which bits need the engine in and which bits don't. Um, uh, my cat's found something to play with. The, 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 the kitten is just um, sort of sat around, oh, say sat around, he's kind of on the floor beside me and has got something to chase about. So he's happy for today, or for a while. Um... Yeah, I've kind of slightly lost. You know what, we're going to come back to that bits and pieces. Bugger it, we're going to start work on the engine. Because, you know, nothing like having half arsing the jobs. Right, headlights, corner. They can go over there as well. They can, that can piss off. And that can, nope. That we can play some uh, paint can bowling. That's a pretty good score. I'll take that. <laughs> the air filter turns out quite a good thing. Quite a good thing for um, paint can bowling. Uh, right, let's go and start work on this bugger. Ah, now we begin on faffing around with the engine and having issues in a completely new and unusual way. I'm sure I'll find something else to manage to break. We don't have a wobble crankshaft. I guess that's a plus. And, oop. oh, damn, there's no collisions. <laughs> let's go see how far I can hoof the paint can. How far can we hoof the paint can? Not very, really. Not, not, not very. Uh, we need to get some bearings. Are the bearings, uh, the main, yeah, there they are. I was going to say, the main bearings are separate. The pistons have their bearings already attached, don't they? Oh, I can't remember what end, what goes where either on this one. Oh, <laughs> depth perception failed me. Whoopsies. Uh, right. Yeah, I can't remember what goes, can't remember which end goes where on this lot. Oh, that's what we don't want. That can go back on my shelf of bits and pieces. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I can see the needs bars. They're not in the red yet. Don't need to worry about them. We are at home in which I have everything that I need uh, here, basically. So <laughs> we haven't really got to worry about that much. The dirtiness is irrelevant unless things have changed uh, because, yeah, that can kind of do whatever it wants and it doesn't really matter. God damn it. <laughs> I always have um, issues with the bearings never wanting to sit properly. Like, I don't know what it is. I have problems with the bearings never wanting to... Ah, oh. <laughs> God damn it. It's this Getting this hitbox... Getting this hitbox is a nightmare. Okay, now Kitten is actually sat on my foot chasing after whatever it is. If you could not claw... If the claws could stay out of the slippers and away from my socks, I'm okay. Just don't you don't you go being a little pain down there. I can see you. Ah, oh dear. <laughs> well, it has been a more kitten-interrupted stream than I was expecting in some ways. Um, but people like cats, so it's okay. <laughs> Basically, that is my logic. It's okay, because cats are cool. So, yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> That's the thing. We've got the bearings in at least. That's a bonus. Um, I'm not sure we're going to be getting the engine working today. We kind of spent too long faffing about with the, the shop. It got, we, we spent a lot of time. Wasted a lot of time. Spent? Wasted? I don't know. Same difference, really. <laughs> um, faffing around up at the shop. So, yeah, I'm not sure we're going to get the engine, uh, the engine completed. Oh, I've got to try and remember all of the other bits and pieces that go on this, haven't we? Uh, right. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to rack my brains now and remember everything. <laughs> it's never good. Oh, pistons, of course. I think we've got to put pistons in from this way. Around, I think, is what we've got to do with the game for it to let us do it. Uh, piston one, I think, is that side. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, no. Okay, that side. So wait, that was bearing three, and that was bearing one, and then piston one's there. I don't... Okay, sure. <laughs> Either way, the bloody things are in. Um, where do they? There they are. I know where my pistons are. We haven't lost anything. Um, well, yet. I don't think we have lost any part in this. I mean, we had bits fall off the car, but I don't think I've actually physically lost bits properly in this game. I might be misremembering now. I mean, it, is, it is entirely possible that I'm misremembering now. Oh, there it is. 
And we have got our final one. Oh, crap. Smack your face on the desk as you do. Uh, hey, there we go. Oh, have we got issues with... As far as I can tell, stream is still working. Everything is good my end. I hope. Uh, yeah, we're still good. <laughs> Just small panic. Um, no, nah, we're, we're, we're all fine, I hope. Oh, crap. I've um, all sorts of wonky angles for doing this. We're back to playing everybody's favourite game of Guess the Spanner. Uh, yeah, I think I did manage to misplace the flashlight at some point. I, I seem to remember, didn't I put the flashlight on the road and then walked away when I came back it had despawned? Which is uh, not really my fault. I would I would say that, that is not really a my fault on that one. Like If, if it despawns, is that really a, a part lost? Um, I don't know. Does that <laughs> audience decide if that is a um, uh, counts as a part lost? I would say no. I would say that, that was more of a game, a game, a game issue potentially. Uh, da, 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 da. We are almost done with pistons. So, yeah. Again, I'm kind of like sat around in the garage. If people want to shout questions, uh, if I'm paying enough attention and don't suddenly get distracted by the urgent need to wee on everything around, then uh, <laughs> I will try and uh, get through get through some of them potentially. Uh, we've still got some people are still amazingly uh, watching after all that we have been through. There are uh, people still watching me prat around and not make much progress. That literally could be the motto of me playing My Summer Car. It's just, yeah, cause chaos, forget what you're meant to be doing, get distracted by a cat, get distracted by a bike, fall off bike, uh, roll van, um, that generally is the uh, way things go here. Uh, right, let's go, and I think this needs to go on relatively soon with the build. Uh, I don't quite remember. There we go, and... Oh, Look, that can sit in there for now. I tend to put the sump on quite quickly. It makes things um, a little bit easier for me. But, uh, yeah, I don't know whether it's the right thing to do. So it makes it a bit easier for balancing the engine when you're working on stuff. Uh, someone asking, will I wrap my RX-8 when I have the money? I do plan on making it proper for RX colours. However, I will, yeah, be, I, will, I will need the money to, to do that. Uh, when, when I do have the money, then I hope, I hope to have a proper Fell Race liveried RX-8. I think that'll be very cool. Um, but yeah, it is a... Uh, I don't know, I don't actually know how expensive it's going to be to get the whole car done. I'm going to do it professionally. I'm not going to half ass it myself. So uh, yeah, I don't know how much it's going to, how much it's actually going to cost, but I imagine it's going to cost a fair bit. But it will, it, it is a future plan I have for the, uh, for the car. Uh, I think we've missed the right one, because I don't think that's going to be a giant one. I mean, the giant one's going to be for that. Probably. Maybe that one. No? Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. There we go. Well, we'll do up that one. Uh, and it can... Uh, uh, the, the oil won't piddle out of that gap. It'll just piddle out the rest of it, because it's not done up properly somewhere. Uh, that's not going to work. Uh, that's not... Any of these going to work? Are we going to have the same issues as we did before, with hitboxes being wonky? Maybe. There we go. I swear I've tried that about three times already, and there we go. Um, I don't think I forgot anything on the pistons. It might end up there. Might a piston might fall out at some point, but you know. The, um, oh, does the sump? I don't think the sump did. But okay, if I will take it off then. I I have built it previous with the sump on very early. Oh, you know what? We'll just keep it here for now. <laughs> I'm too lazy to go take it off. I'll just. I I'm pretty sure I've built it from this point with a sump on at least one of the times I did it. I might be wrong, I might be misremembering it, but for now um, I am going to uh, do this. It's, yeah, <laughs> just the way that I've tended to build the damn thing. Or well, certainly the second time I built it, the first time I can't even remember what order I did it in. But uh, yeah, that can go. If we have to take it off, we take it off. Um, Alright, stand up and twist, twist and plonk that down. Right, we are going to be wanting to uh, stick on 
some other bits and pieces to the engine. My brain's just kind of currently drawing a blank a little bit. Uh, if we stick that on next, there, then we'll stick the head on, and then we will stick the. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where that's. Uh, where the other various bits and pieces... Oh, okay. Well, that's that's a happy coincidence that uh, we have got the right size one for uh, for this bit. And we will just... Uh, I'll do this one properly, in fact. Not the first time I've ever done anything properly on any of the mechanic -y games that, uh, <laughs> that I have played. Uh, I can't remember which bit you're supposed to start on, but it's basically got to go into like a... I, at least I think this, if I've remembered correctly, it was like four or five years ago that I did mechanics. Um, and admittedly, you know, we should have like a torque wrench and all of that kind of crap for uh, for this. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's... I think, I think, as I said, I think that is the um, the, the right order for bits and pieces to be going on. I think we've then got to... I'm trying to remember where the camshaft goes on. I was thinking I was thinking this was an overhead cam, but I don't think it is, is it? Um, I think we might have missed... I think I've got to shove that in somewhere. <laughs> um, can we get lucky? And, oh, yeah, we can. Hold on. <laughs> we have just found some magic, and we have just kind of... Uh, delicately phased the camshaft through the engine. I don't know why I was thinking it was an overhead cam either, but uh, we <laughs> delicately phased it through the engine and plonked it in. Oh, and I've managed to knock the microphone pop filter a little bit, but uh, there we go. Ah, the joys, the joys of special um, finish mechanicking. Right, we're going to have to go get some water. Uh, we should probably have a sword or go to the sorter at some point. I've kind of, I've given up caring about the um, dirtiness meter. Uh, while we got to the toilet, I was, I was busy distracted, but I don't, know why, <laughs> I don't know why we needed a drink so we went to the toilet. That's a little bit concerning. Uh, oh, the tap turned itself off. No! Our wasting of the water has been disappointing. Has been disappointing indeed. Oh, and now we've got... Okay, we have to get rid of red flashing need bars. That means we've... Um, we must wee, but where? That is the conundrum. Where do we wee? Do we go find one of our neighbours' houses and wee on them? Unfortunately, there is really nobody around here to wee on. Um, <laughs> there, is, there is a building. This building shall be urinated on. I don't even know if this is our building or not. Like, I don't, have I ever even actually been over here? I don't think I have. We're going on an adventure. The car can wait. We've got to find the perfect wee spot. <laughs> I'm going to go explore this building. I don't know what it is. We will go and explore it, though. I've also seen to if I hold on a second. Uh player controls. We have uh where's the sprint uh run? That's why. The run wasn't bound. There we go. Now we have a run. Fantastic. Now we can go and uh <laughs> investigate this building. Like I know I got the sheds over the other end, like over there, that's mine. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be mine? Oh, <laughs> There's nothing in there, though. There's the tube. I wonder what that's full of. If I could get up there, it'd be full of wee, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, um... It's not really made of anything. We've found a lot of magic. Uh, <laughs> we've found a lot of magic in this, uh, in this game. Is there any... Anything else to this? I don't think so. I think we're just going to have to wee on the random building. There we go. We'll wee on the door. So whoever whoever has to open them has a terrible, terrible job. Uh, <laughs> we should make like a remote control uh, race circuit inside this garage. If it is ours. I don't know if it is ours. But uh, whoever's it is should make a remote control racetrack in there. Because that would be brilliant. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, I don't know what the use is of such a large, completely and utterly blank space. Other than to race remote control cars around. Um, right, there we go. We, we held on to the Wii for like an entire day. That was an entire day's worth of Wii on their front door. Or our front door. It, uh, I don't really know. But never mind. We haven't seen any more ghost cars. There hasn't been any more ghost cars uh, turn up at, at, at any point. Which I'm kind of glad about. I kind of miss the ghost cars though. I'd like to know more. 
a sort of X-Files-y. We'll do some investigations and, and, and learn about the ghost cars, I think. Oh, I'm just I'm trying not to yawn in the middle of a stream. Sorry, I'll be up for many hours today. In fact, it is... Uh, it's, it's, gone past, it's gone past ten. We've been going for almost two hours with only minor technical difficulties. Um, to anyone who is just joining the stream, hello. I slightly apologise for the constant talk of we in the chat. It's, it, anyone who knows my... If you've stumbled across this game and never seen it before, and this is the first sort of thing you are watching of it you're probably going to be very confused. And I can perfectly understand that, because this is a game supposedly about building a car, in which you spend most of your time weeing on things, getting distracted, and farting around, basically. Um, I have no doubt if you could actually fart in this game, that would be the most used button in the entire thing. Uh, <laughs> there is a game in this about building a car. There's a game about doing occasional other things as well, and this is the other things that sort of take priority for most of the time. Uh, we've got a magic engine in which the camshaft phased through it. We had a wobbly shock absorber that's been fixed. I didn't die on a motorbike. And, uh, yeah, we kind of messed around with some cars. That's, that, that's, that's about everything to be said here. Uh, we've got a clutch to build up. Uh, I think it'll be coming handy at some point. Right, we've got that ready to go. Uh, then we have got... Oh, I'm trying to remember the right order with the other bits and pieces. Ah, that should probably be quite important. <laughs> Camshaft gear, that will wait, hold on. That can go on there. Right, uh, we will have a... Again, I'm just kind of, a little bit of this is guesswork because I'm just trying to remember the uh, the order that the bits and pieces will be, will be going on. We need to put... Oh, this will need to go on at some point. Uh, the fly, we'll need the flywheel on. Oh, we, ah, wait, we need the... Is there a cover that goes on? Have we got the only cover on? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I, think, I, I kind of remember there was another cover bit that we needed. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but... Um, where is it? Oh, we're on top of the car. I swear there was a cover that went over the like the timing gubbins, but I don't know where it's gone. Have we lo you know my talk about having not lost a um, part for the car? Have we lost the uh, Is it the timing cover? Yeah, because it'd be at that end, wouldn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't really. Don't really know. Uh, ah. There's the bugger. Right. Um, okay, we've got we've got the cover. I yeah, I can't remember if we need to put that on or... We need to put that on... Or we need to put on... Uh, crank... Well, we need to put this on... First, and then we will probably need to... Oh, I can never remember the, this fiddly ass bit. I'm never was never good with this fiddly ass bit either. Um, I'm trying not to do this I'm trying to do this without cheating and looking at a guide, but then we have Twitch chat to shout at me when I'm being a Muppet. Uh, which I probably are. I haven't looked across there at the moment. Um uh, apparently the cover doesn't go on with the sump on. Didn't know that. Maybe maybe I'd have put, I, I I could have sworn I put the sump on at one point very early on in the build, but it might have been that I had to take it off because I cocked it up, but uh, we will see. We do need to put this on somewhere. Uh, don't really know where. Thankfully, we can just kind of guesswork it. Uh, <laughs> gotta love just the guessworking. Just the, just the, the full-on guessworking that, uh, that happens for most of this. Right, we'll take the sump off then, bugger it. Uh, and then we will get the timing cover on. Then we will do the other bits, and I'll save the sump till the end, because that's probably the sensible thing to do. Uh, spin that round. Ah, uh, there are still 232 people uh, watching me mess around and we on various buildings. I hope you have enjoyed your evening. Uh, I hope, I hope you have enjoyed your your evening of, of watching me mess around on on my summer car. Uh, have we not undone one of these properly? Do I have to undo the plug? Surely that would be the one bit that could be taken off without that being undone. Ah, we haven't undone that one. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going insane. Well, again, I'm not going more insane. 
yeah, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye to that, and then we will. Okay, does this then go on? Do I need to put more bits on before I put that on? I might. I might need to try to remember which bits go up what end. Okay, don't need that yet. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. <laughs> trying to remember my car experience and my. Um, my, my car experience on here and the real life experience. I'm trying to remember what order we want, what bits on. Um, yeah, I thought the water pump was needed. Uh, for, I'm trying to remember which covers go, what the, like, what the cover covers. Uh, are we going to. Hold on, let's get. If we get rid of that, because that can go on later. Oh, and face desk. Thank you. Uh, what most of you are currently doing, because I've forgotten the correct procedure with this bollocks. Uh, that, no, come on. Come on. Find the right one. That's the ticket. Right, if we get rid of this bit, for now, for now, we'll come back to that. We will, um... I don't know if we're driving the car tonight. It'll depend on how much more faffing around is, uh, is, is going to take. Right, so if we put that on there... Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Honestly, I'm not sure the car is going to drive very far because there's a lot of work to do on it. <laughs> there's a lot of work to do on it. And, um... Yeah. <laughs> Whether it will fire up first time. The last time we, um... Uh, I've built the engine... The last two times I've built the engine, it has actually started perfectly both times on its first attempt. It's cut out with various issues. Uh, however... I have actually got it started on its kind of first attempts, so uh, yeah, we will get that on now. Maybe I think there we go. Right, that's it. Uh, I mean, we managed to kind of cheat uh, camshaft in by going through, uh, going through the <laughs> through the block essentially. I don't quite know how we managed to make that one work, but never mind. Right, so now we've got water pump on. Then we're going to want to put the uh, so we now don't need to worry about the cover. That can go back on. I hope. Oh, we're going to fall off the desk. I love how we were... Like, I can't imagine... I'm trying to... I can't imagine. I'm trying to imagine the scenario in which a person would fit there and be, like, crouched down. How are we... Oh, because we were on the floor. <laughs> um, yeah, I was, I was trying to imagine that... Oh, I can't, can't really get it to work again. How a person would be crouched behind there working on the engine. Like, that is not much... That is not much space to... Uh, <laughs> to be fitted in there. It would not be much space at all to uh, to be fitted in there. Uh, f but never mind. It does the job. And then we were wanting... that. Oh, look at that! Some lucky first-time guesses. Brilliant. Okay, I think that's... Well, it's not quite all that corner done, because then we've got that to go on somewhere. And... Da -da 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 -da. That can go in there. And... Uh... Uh, somewhere over there we go. That's the one that we want. Ah, progress. There is progress. There is progress being made indeed. As I said, whether on earth this is going to um, to run is a whole another story. Uh, some people said I didn't do up a uh, bearing down here. Let's have a quick check. Uh, no, it looks like all the pistons are good. Nope, pistons are good. Pistons are good. Bearings are fine. Right. Uh, what else have we got to get on the car? We will... I guess we've got to kind of do like alternator and so... We're going to do... Should we do gearbox? Yeah, let's go stick that on. Uh, oh, block, twist. Dump that down again. Uh, right, so if we then get flywheel on. Oh crap, that's got a million bolts. Well, I say a million bolts. It's got like six. Hold on. Character, which we're, <laughs> we're going to do the bob and weave until you fight. There we go. That's the one that we want. Kitten's back again. Hello, Cass. How are you doing? Going to meow for the audience? Or are you going to wander around and completely ignore me? I'm thinking it's going to be the wander around and completely and uh, completely and utterly ignore me. Um... Camshaft bolts. I don't know if I'm ever going to find the camshaft bolts. Thank you for uh, telling me. I... 
Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do that, because it's going to be guesswork, because I, was, I did magic to uh, fix it. So we'll do magic to try and tighten them. We will do... Um, yeah, fit it, actually, I could probably Facebook my way through the block to find them, couldn't we? Uh, there will be a Facebook to find camshaft. Right, here we go. Facebook is on. Somewhere in all of this mess is the bits that we will need to... Uh, it might even be easier to do it from out here. Uh, <laughs> in many ways, we will we will maybe find... I don't know. I don't really know which is going to be the easiest way. Because what I've... What I'm, I say what I'm worried. If we face boop our way through the engine, we might... Aha, there it is. Uh, we might end up missing the bit that we need to tighten. Ah. I think that's... Is that it there? Aha! We got it. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Uh, <laughs> the mighty face boop method is working well here. Unfortunately, I can't really go any further that way. Oh, uh, no. Oh, oh crap. Okay, we'll go face boop from this side then. Face boop! Oh, that's too low. We need a higher face boop. That's the ticket. The perfect face booping height to find camshaft bolts. Uh, maybe not to select them though. Where's the hitbox for it gone? Oh, is that it? Is that it? Uh, that's a bolt. I don't know what bolt that is. I'm hoping that's camshaft bolt. Uh, might be. <laughs> Not really sure. I think the camshaft's now tightened. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I think they were both the camshaft bolts. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. We have... Um, we have got it. We, we have just about... Um, just about got it. Right. We will... Oh, we were doing clutch, weren't we? We were getting that put on. Uh, did we tighten all the flywheel bolts? I think we did. Kid, you okay over there? What have you got? Oh, he's got a... <laughs> so, um... My, my kitten... Doesn't... I say doesn't... He likes cat toys, but his favourite thing to chase, his favourite thing in the entire world to chase, is any scrunched up bit of paper you have. Any, any scrunched up bit of paper you have. Oh, okay. That was that was impressive. Uh, literally, what, whatever you have, like receipt. At the moment, I think it's a receipt he's currently chasing around the uh, office floor. He will chase them for absolutely hours on end. You throw a cat toy for him, it'll chase it for about three minutes and then get bored. But uh, paper, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of glad because it means it's nice and um, uh, nice and easy to get toys for him. However, yeah, he's, just, he's such a dopey cat. But there we go. And we are guessing at spanner sizes again. And it's not going to work. I think I missed one in there somewhere. Yeah. Uh, it's not really wanting to... I, I, I feel like this should be a, a relatively... Probably not that smaller one. But I've been through, a, been through all of these. But, oh no! Oh, misclicked. Bugger. Oh, crap. Uh, right. Can we go and get that magic... There we go. Okay, so the magic hitbox area is to look miles past the damn thing, and then it'll work. How amazing. <laughs> How amazing indeed. Right, I think we will probably put this clutch on. Unfortunately, I, as much as I would like to get the car running today, I don't think we're going to. It would take me a lot longer than I have time to. Unfortunately, I'm going to... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. There's a lot, a lot of work to do with this car. However, we haven't died. That is the, um, that is the important thing in this. We haven't died. The Satsuma is in relatively, relatively one piece at the moment. We've had a couple of slight scary moments, but uh, no proper... We haven't rolled a van or anything to quite fully, fully terrify us into expecting it to, uh, to murder us. Um... Yeah, I might come back to some of my summer car. Uh, I might come back to play some other games and so on. I'm hopefully, hopefully going to be uh, be doing some more streams in the near future. My summer car will probably feature, I don't know what else, Planet Coaster I might be doing some stuff with and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's something I'm going to try to do a little bit more of. I don't really know what days and so on we will... We will see in the in the near future. This I don't know how I'm going to work this uploading it to YouTube. It might make it up there if you've missed the earlier parts. I don't know how much the technical difficulties crashed 
or how, how much of the recordings crashed through various technical difficulties, but I will give it a try and this will appear, yeah, possibly at some point on there. So if you haven't seen it all then yeah, you can catch up. That's going to be it from me and our slightly battered and slightly adventured Satsuma. Thank you everybody for watching and until next time, goodbye. Cass, you gonna say goodbye? Nope, you're gonna sit upside down and try chewing your own foot. Well done, intelligent cat you are. <laughs>